Yo, yeah, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm back with another Spider-Man video. So, recap. Uh it's been a while since I've done a video, so let me think a second. Recap, recap, recap. Okay, so we just defeat Shocker. Right? Yeah. And we um that cop saved us from the demons. Um who is Miles Morales' dad. So if you know who Miles Morales is, that's good. So basically, uh, his dad got a Medal of Honor for saving Spider-Man, aka Peter Parker, aka the p character that we play as most of the time. Um, so now we get to see a ceremony. So that's the recap, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Welcome everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. So? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? Um, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um. Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. It's kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. It sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Jeez. I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit louder in this video. Oh, okay.
my god! Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. Raise my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. He looks legit dead. Okay. Whoa. Crazy. Over there. Do I just drop or? He was right there. What the hell? Oh, crap. <laughs> See, these demons would do nothing if I was Spider Man. Where do you Holy cow. Yeah, let's let's just Dad was right there. Gotta help him. Uh, I don't think I can help him. now. Shoot Jimmy Tom. 
I swear, if I go up there, I'm gonna die. I got you, Dad. I'm dead. No! No! Enough! We have to leave. Now! Martin Lee. One week later. Gosh, this is just sad. So wait, was he in the army? I thought he was just in the police force. You don't get a flag for just being in the police force. Was he in the army? I guess he was in the army. That's his police department. That dude's metal said police department. I don't know. Whatever. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry. It's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you I can't start a manhunt based on a hunt from Spider-Man. That's what I'm telling you. He's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. 
Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. That sounds like somebody from the comics. <laughs> Mr. Negative. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Hmm. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay. Okay, go ahead and do that. There we go. You're not getting in today, so. Okay, that's all. I thought there was a dude over there. Okay. What? Wait, was that what I was supposed to do? Wait, what? Huh. High security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. <laughs> Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Hmm. Oh, there's more. Gotta find a junction box. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. That's it. Yay. Oh man. Lots of high tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait. These are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Guns from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This wasn't a gang war. 
the demons were stealing from Fist to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. What? He just immediately stopped. shipping a lot of guys I should try to do this quietly but also with style yeah I can use that stuff I found mm. at the recycling center I like the trip line Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. <laughs> and that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. Really? Okay. What the? No, get back up there. Dude, save. Yep. Sleep it off. Take 
You literally didn't see that come. Alright, I couldn't keep that sneak ad down too much longer. Here, better check inside. Huh, invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. Okay. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. If one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. See, they can block my was, but they can't. I was expecting, but it was definitely they not this. Can't. They can block my was, but they can't block a wooden panel. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find Lee? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. That's actually a little tough. I'm not gonna lie. Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Who the heck are you? Off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down. Down. Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. What the? See, how does she not die from this? Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us.
Yuri, explanation, please? This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. See, I don't know why she doesn't like us. Hey, sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. All right. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay, say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind, Norman Osborne. Alright. Well, that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, is that a research center over there? Oh, no. Attention agents in Hudson Town. Oh. Command wants an update. Demons are attacking Alpha Romeo. Send back up. Missed another call from Doc. I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. No need to thank me, Sable dudes. Although it's kind of rude you didn't. Alright. Well. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.